Happy learning! Today we're going to do a question about subspaces. Let A be an n by n matrix. And we'll define W sub A to be the set of all matrices B that commute with A. So AB is equal to BA. And what we want to show is that W sub A is a subspace of M, N, N. So this is the set of all n by n matrices with normal matrix addition and scalar multiplication. Okay, so how do we show something is a subspace? We need to show that these three properties hold. We need to show that one, the zero vector of M, N, N is in W sub A. So we need to show this. Second, if we have two vectors of M, N, N, so if we have two N by N matrices, so let's say we have U and V, are in W sub A, we want this to imply that their sum is also in W sub A. And the last thing we need to show is that if we have an element of W sub A, then any scalar multiple is also in W sub A. Okay, and so if we show that these three conditions hold, then we're done. We've shown that W sub A is a subspace. Okay, so let's start with one. We want to show that the zero vector, the zero, all zero matrix is in W sub A. What does it mean to be in W sub A? It means that <coughs> multiplication, that this, this, ma this matrix commutes with A. Okay, so let's just show that that's the case. So A times the zero matrix is equal to, well, the zero matrix, which is also equal to zero times A. Okay, so A times zero is equal to zero times A, which means that these matrici matrices commute, which means that zero is in W sub A. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Two. So let's suppose we have two matrices. Uh, we could call them I guess let's call them C and D that are in W sub A. So what does this mean? If they're in W sub A, that means they commute with W sub A. So let's just write that down. So this implies AC equals CA and AD equals DA. Okay, and we want to show that the sum of these two matrices is also commutes with A. So let's take a look at what A times C plus D is. Using properties of matrix multiplication, we know that this is A times C plus A times D. But we know AC is equal to CA and AD is equal to DA. And with properties of matrix multiplication, we know this is C plus D times A. Okay, so the matrix C plus D commutes with A, which means C plus D is in W sub A. Okay, so the first two conditions hold. Let's just show that the last condition holds. Okay, we'll say that um, D is a matrix in W sub A, we want to show that any scalar times D is also. So just as a reminder, what does it mean for a matrix to be in W sub A? It means AD equals DA. So let's look at A times some scalar times D. But we know with the properties of matrix multiplication that this is equal to the scalar times AD. And we know that AD is equal to DA. So this is the scalar times DA, which we can put in parentheses. So CD times A. Okay, so A times CD is equal to CD times A. So CD is in, the sub, uh, is in v, uh, W sub A. Okay, 
And since all three of the conditions hold, we know that W sub A is a subspace. Not too bad. So let me in the, know in the comments if you like these types of problems. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.